normally for this kind of video, I'd be sitting like showing my vanity, but it's such a nice day out. I was like, instead of getting lights out, I might as well just film with the beauty of outside because it is so bright. Because yesterday it was like super rainy and humid, and today it's like cooler, but it's super nice outside. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, anyway, hi, my name is Megan. And today I'm going to be doing my 2016 beauty favorites. I thought about doing favorites in general, but I didn't really want to make this video super, super long. And now that I fixed the crookedness of that, um, 2016 has been probably one of the longest years. Actually, not like in terms of like, I feel like it was just yesterday that was 2015 that I was filming this. But as far as like, just emotionally, it has been pretty long and like pretty hard. I think for everybody, when I say that, like everyone kind of gets it. Like it's just been a long emotional year. So I kind of figured instead of doing favorites overall for time and for everybody's sake, I thought I would do a smaller just beauty ones. If you want to see my favorites in general, I can do a video on that. Let me know. But I think that this is just kind of fun and I haven't done a beauty video in a while because it's been a little bit crazy and I don't know, I haven't really been trying new makeup out yet, like lately, just because of like, I haven't really had the time. <laughs> Most days I go without makeup. If you follow me on Snapchat, which do out all the links and stuff or all like the usernames and everything are always in the description. But I generally don't wear makeup on a day to day basis because I just don't really have the time like in the morning and stuff. I'm just like, no, especially when I'm on break and stuff. But yeah, with that being said, let is get, let's get started. I don't know, let's see. What do I want to start with? I'm going to try to bring it up into categories, but I guess we'll just start with the face and then we'll work our way up. So I have a few different things. So for primer, I have my favorite has been this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I've talked about this many, many times. This is still my all-time favorite. And when I run out, I will purchase it again because it's just my favorite one. This is the bait. This is a smoothing primer. This is the one that's the pore filling one. Absolutely love this stuff. It works like a charm. I think it works better than the professional. But I've done a review on both of them. I think if I can find it, I will link it or put a card to it because I think I did something about this or like some video a while ago. But anyway, this is my all time favorite. It has been pretty much my go-to all year. I haven't really used anything else because my skin is so sensitive when it comes to primers. But the ones I have tried, this is still my all-time favorite. So the next, I have three different foundations and they're all kind of like similar in a lot of ways. So this one is the Naked Skin One and Done Primer. Now, I got it over the summer because this was part of Urban Decay's... Oh, this is also in the color light if anyone's wondering. Um, this is part of Urban Decay's summer line and I bought it because I was like well I mean not that I need another primer but I figured I would give it a shot and I loved it over the summer and don't get me wrong but during the fall I really didn't use it I kind of forgot I had it it was in my closet which I have a whole nother set of drawers with makeup in them in my closet which is complicated but I kind of forgot I had it and I went in to get another foundation and then I saw this and I was like let's try it and I've been loving it for winter because my skin is so dry even though my skin is super oily, and it is, don't get me wrong, but during the winter it is super drying because of the wind and the like the cold and everything. So I've been like loving this because it's like full coverage to a degree. I don't really need full coverage because my skin really isn't that like bad. So I don't need a full cover foundation most days. So I generally just use something light and this has been my go-to lately and during the summer especially. So the next foundation, I don't think will surprise anybody, is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. I'm literally running out. I have 102 and 100 and they're literally all gone. Like this has nothing in it. But I love this foundation so, so, so much because it is like full coverage. It lasts pretty much all day on my skin. And when you're at school all day, this is like my go-to foundation because if I'm going to have a long day, I need something that's going to stay on my face. And this honestly is one of the best foundations I have ever used. Like, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to repurchase it, but I will get there eventually. <laughs> um, I'm not really using it during the winter just because it is, again, it's like a pro matte, like it is matte, so I don't really need that during the winter. But during every other time of year, I definitely use this, and that's why it's all gone. So the next one is the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. It's in 100 Light. 
it's just a BB cream. I use this when I don't feel like putting on a full face makeup and just feel like putting mascara and like some foundation on. And I love it. It works really well. I think this has just been my, this is kind of something I keep going back to whenever I just don't really have the patience, to be honest. I go back to it constantly. My friend gave this to me over the summer and I just have been using it all the time since. I have so many foundations. This was a hard category for me to choose, but those three, like, these three are, like, my go-tos and have been my favorites since I picked them up. So next I'll go with concealer, and I only have two concealers, but one of them is the Superstay Concealer from Maybelline, and I believe this must be in the lightest shade possible. It's in 10 Ivory. It's really bad. I need to pick up another one, but I use this whenever I go above my eyebrows to sculpt them out. Um, I just love it for that. As a concealer for underneath my eyes, if you have drier, like, under eyes, I would say use it because it is a little bit more, mi like, moisturizing. But I use the, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral for underneath my eyes, and this stuff works like a charm. Especially last semester when I had 20 units and I was, like, working on two campaigns, I my bags were so real. So this has just been kind of one of those things that I keep going back to. I used the It Cosmetics one for a while, which you guys probably, if you've been watching my videos long enough, you know. But I just kept going, now that I have it, I just keep going back to this because I really like this. I really like that it's a doe foot applicator because I hate, that's the one thing I hated about the um, Tarte, Tarte one, or not the Tarte one, the It Cosmetics one is wasn't like wasn't a doe foot applicator and drove me nuts but both of these are really good i think they work for anybody i just prefer one for one purpose and one for another so i'll go with powder first and then we'll go into highlight because i have a couple highlights so for powder it's the l'oreal infallible pro matte and this is in 100 porcelain i mean i have another one waiting but i just haven't pulled it out yet but i'm i I've really always been a fan of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, or not the Skin Finish, the MAC Mineralized Powder, which if you've been watching my channel long enough again, you know that I'm like obsessed with that. And I still do love it, but I prefer this because when I want something that's a little bit more, like if I'm using a really matte foundation, I will generally use the MAC uh, Skin Finish because it does have a little bit, it has that minerally, like has a little bit of sheen. But for every day, I tend typically go with this just because it's super, like, it keeps my skin matte and it doesn't get me, it doesn't let me get oily very quickly. So just for me overall, I prefer this. Now, I know that, like, I don't really use that many powders because my skin is so oily that I kind of typically stick with, like, a few powders that I know work. But this, I was willing to give a shot because my mom used it and she loves it. My mom has more, like, has more oily skin than I do. So I was like... I'll give it a shot like we'll see and I have honestly fell in love with it I already have another one as a backup whenever this one goes away because it just it just works so well and I think if you're looking for something that will keep your skin matte all day like I know a lot of you guys are in college ages or school ages and honestly I had the biggest problem with my skin my makeup staying on all day not that I care that much because honestly I'm there to learn but I really do enjoy doing my makeup and things so I want it to last all day if I am gonna wear it and this just has helped so 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 much so the, I have two highlights and I don't think this is gonna surprise anybody but the first one is the MAC soft and gentle skin finish I mean I don't think this is gonna surprise anyone I love this stuff um, it has like a pretty big dent in it to be honest I've been using this. This has been a holy grail of mine for a few years now. I just love it as far as highlighting goes and it just leaves the prettiest glow on your skin. I don't think that, I know some people don't like this. I'm just one of those that really does actually like it and enjoys the highlightiness of it because it's not too much, but it also like when I want something that's just a little bit of glow, I always go back to this. So the next one is the Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Again, when I'm not using my MAC skin finish I generally will have this on if I want something really really like bright and like yeah just like glowy because this just gives the prettiest glow to anything I've talked about this product before don't think it's gonna surprise anyone but yeah so next I'll go with lipstick just because it's there and it's the easiest thing for me to grab so my first one is the is MAC Whirl I have been using this since I got it, which I think was in like May, 
and I just love it because it's just so it's like brown but also nude and I just whenever I want something that's a little bit on the brown like more brown side I for a nude I definitely always go with Whirl so the next one is MAC Faux which is another one and it's the color I'm wearing today it's another one that's a little bit more on the brown side but it's a little bit more pink than uh faux or than Whirl and it's just one of those things I've been gravitating more towards nudes as we now in the winter and also because when I was working on two campaigns I couldn't wear anything like super bright because that would be really strange and we knew with constituents and then that, going into spring semester I'm working in the state house so I really can't be like wearing bright lipstick for that <laughs> so I just I tend to gravitate more towards nudes at this point now like when I'm not working or anything now that like I'm not working on campaigns and I'm not working on the weekends and stuff I probably will have more opportunity to wear like more bright lipstick but for like school days and stuff I just tend to go with nudes because those are the easiest things a to apply and b when you're like talking to someone or like like meeting people I don't really want to have like bright bright lipstick because that'd be kind of weird but that's just my opinion do whatever you want to do so the next three are from ColourPop and these are different colors and different two of them are the matte just like the liquid lipsticks and the other one is a ultra stain and I'm going to kind of go through a breakdown so Echo Park I got over the summer and this is the first uh stain I got ultra stain I love this to death and I wear it especially during the summer I don't necessarily wear it like I wore it during the fall a lot too but I love the formula of this and I just love that it lasts a long time but it also isn't drying and I just love the color and it's just perfect. Echo Park is something you probably should check out. If you want something more nude but a little bit brighter than like a typical nude I would check out Echo Park because that's how I would describe Echo Park. So the next two like I said are ultra stain or they're not ultra stain they're ultra matte lips and one of them is in Lib Limbo and the other one is in Bieber. These are two that I I love Beeper because it's a little bit it's pink and it's nude and it's not super dark so I can get away with it if I'm you know when I was campaigning I can get away with it with when I want to wear some nude and that's why I love this and Limbo I've been loving brown lips but the thing is is that I hate that they always are like all over the place and so this kind of is nice because it's like a matte lipstick and it's a liquid lipstick but I just love the color of this I also love the formula of these. I have a really hard time with liquid lipsticks which I've talked about on my channel is that they my lips always stick together and it drives me nuts they don't dry completely down and they're really sticky and this these do not the ColourPop ones do not do that so super nice and it's I just love them because they stay on all day and I don't have to worry about reapplying or anything so that is definitely just my go-to. So next I'll go with eyes because why not we're almost done we're getting down to the pile here. So the first thing is something I've been using my eyebrows and it is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown and I really have to get a new one. <laughs> That's how bad it is. But honestly, ever since I got this, I don't even know what I did before I got this to be honest. Like, I got it in I think July, so about halfway through the year and ever, ever since I've just been addicted. I love this to death and you can tell by how much I use it. It's just so convenient. It leaves my eyebrows super, super nice. Like, honestly, it's so easy to, like, I find with a pencil, it just takes so long. Like, I use pencils still, but I, this has just been my, like, my all-time, like, if I want nice-looking eyebrows, I will use this. So, the next thing is probably not going to surprise anybody, but is for liner, like, for, like, liquid eyeliner. It is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and I have Mad Max Brown and Trooper. Again, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know that these have been my all-time go-to. I think for a couple of years now, these have just been... I keep repurchasing them because they just make winged eyeliner so easy. Like, if you guys have... Like, I can do it with other things, but if you guys are struggling with winged eyeliner, I'll check these out because they make it so nice and so easy. These are just... I just need, like, 5 million of these so I don't ever run out because these are so amazing. Next thing is the CoverGirl Supersizer Waterproof Mascara. I don't really know if I've talked about it because I've gotten it pretty recently within the last like few months. And I haven't really done any beauty videos because I haven't had time, which I do apologize for that. But it does take me a lot longer if I want to do like a tutorial or anything. So bear with me guys. I know over the summer I have a lot more time, but 
during school time i do not but this has just been my ultimate go-to to be honest especially for bottom like lashes because the tip is so thin i need to pick up some more of this because it's getting a little bit old but again love this stuff go-to of mine so next is the Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes Mascara, and if you watch my channel, especially over the spring, you know that I use this to death, and I still love it. I haven't been using it as much lately because I've gotten a few new ones that I'm still trying out, but definitely love this stuff. My go-to. I love the applicator of it because it's just so, like, different, like, when you turn it around, so, yeah. Enough about mascara. <laughs> So my next, my last category is palettes. So I'm, I have four, so let me go through the smallest to biggest, I guess. So the first one is the Manonizer Sisters by The Balm. I haven't been using this as much as I did over the summer and um, spring, because I got it for Christmas last year. But whenever it comes back into spring, I probably will use this, because I love this bronzer shade for summer, and I love this shade for summer. Like, I love this whole palette for summer and spring. But not as much for fall and um, winter. But as soon as it gets to that, I will be using this again. But this has been my ultimate go-to whenever I traveled. I traveled a lot last year, I swear I did. And this has just been my go-to for that. Because it's just so small and so compact. And it has a highlighter and it has bronzer and everything that you need. So that has been really good. The next thing, another one that has been really convenient for me is the NARS Stephen Klein palette. And I just hit pan on this today and I'm like, ah. But honestly, it's been something, again, that has been a go-to for me whenever I travel because it just has everything I need as far as, like, contour and bronzer and blush and everything. And it's just incredible. I, like, absolutely am in love with this palette. Unfortunately, it was limited edition, so I know that I'm not going to be able to get more. But I just love the packaging of it, too. It's it's quite thick, but I do find it, it like clasps together and it's not as like bulky as some of the other palettes that I have had. So the next are eye palettes and this is probably not going to surprise anybody. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I have, like I just, there's something about it that I just keep gravitating to and I just keep coming back to this palette and... It has just been my go-to ever since I got it, I think last November, and this has just been my, like, one of the palettes that if I'm, go if, like, I can't live without this palette, like, I just use it constantly, and I absolutely love it, and you can see that it's very much worn. Um, I just think there's so much variety, and whenever I travel, this is something I always have to take with me, because it's all matte, it's super neutral, so I know that, like, I can do any look with it now i can't do bold looks but i definitely stick with more neutral tones anyway but i just i don't know i just love this palette so 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 much and it's been one of my favorites a palette i keep going back to all year long so the next one is the chocolate bar palette by too faced another one that that just got all over my hands um another one that if i'm not using if i don't bring this palette with me i generally always have this one because it does have so much variety as far as like Okay, I don't know. Sorry if the lighting changed. My camera died, so I had to wait for it to charge. But, like I was saying, this palette is just great in general because it has so much variety, like neutrals and, like, darker shades. So, this has just been one of those that I go to. Although, it's kind of, like, janky because it's, like, I don't know. This is, like, broken on it, but regardless, um... That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hearing all my 2016 favorites. I cannot believe this year is over to be honest. Crazy. It's been a long year like I said. So I'm looking forward to the new year. And yeah that's it. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.